Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Annie Huynh and I am graduated from UC Irvine last June. As a recent graduate, I have had the rare opportunity to become a trainee in the SPUR program. Um, thanks to Dr. Kraus, I was paired with Dr. Joni Sasaki and I've been working with graduate student Hiwon Kwan in the Culture and Religion Lab at the University of Hawaii. Um, they have guided me through my first ever research project, Perceptions of Cultural Appropriation and the Role of Social Status and Social Media Influence. As we begin, you might ask, why should we care about cultural appropriation and why is it important to study? Due to globalization and multiculturalism, issues of cultural appropriation are becoming increasingly common. Real world occurrences on the news and social media suggest that people at times disagree on what cult constitutes cultural appropriation. For example, Halloween is an event where cultural appropriation commonly takes place, where people dress up in clothing from cultures that are, do not belong to their own. The reaction to this can be negative, harmful to communities, but the way people react to these situations is not equal. And what we want to do is study the functions of this reaction to extinguish that kind of behavior. We can break down cultural appropriation into three components, the target or the appropriator, which is what we'll be focusing on today, the perceiver, and the context. So my research question is that people may be more likely to perceive someone differently for cultural appropriation depending on their status and influence. For example, if they are a celebrity, have millions of Instagram followers, or if they are a CEO of a big company. Um, there is an outrage to stop appropriative behavior and the harm can be greater if you're higher in status because of reach cloud representative damage, and people expect successful people to know better. Past research shows that social status differences between groups may increase perceptions of appropriation. Um, in the article by Mosley and Birnett um, in 2020, but little is known about how other characteristics of the target may influence perceptions. Participants will be undergrad students from the University of Hawaii, um, recruited through research credit offered through SONA Systems. They'll be filling out a survey created from Qualtrics, which should take them about 30 minutes. The current experiment uses a two by two within subjects research design to examine whether social media influence as a form of social capital in the digital age and social status may impact perceptions of appropriation across four different scenarios. Um, participants are asked to answer questions after reading each of these scenarios. Um, they have the same scenario, but there are some differences um, shown here. For example, the first one is about a CEO with millions of followers. The second one is about an employee who has millions of followers. The third one is a CEO who has a few dozen followers. And the last one is an employee who has a few dozen followers. Here are the measures we used in our survey. Although um, we have these measures, the only measure that um, I have conducted preliminary analyses on is the first one. And um, this measure is the one we're most interested in. This is that measure in detail. And it has 11 items that examine perception of appropriation, perceive, perceived intentionality, perceived intent of harm, and distinctiveness threat. And again, these items are from Mosley and Birnat um, in 2020. Um, because of the within subject design, I conducted a repeated measures to weigh ANOVA to compare the group means of each condition. Um, the two levels of factor A, social status, were CEO and employee status. The two factors of level B, social media influence, were millions of followers and dozens of followers. Um, I want to mention that we do have manipulation check items, but we haven't analyzed them yet. So those items will um, double check that they're perceiving the CEO as a high status person using the social 
uh, ladder by Adler um, 2000, yeah. So um, in the preliminary results, we got quite a large F statistic ratio of 12.94. Um, this is for the main effect regarding social status. And this means that variation among group means is more than what we would expect to see by chance. Um, because the probability is less than 0.05, the result is statistically significant. The direction of the effect is that participants will have higher perceptions towards a target who is a CEO versus an employee, regardless of social media influence. The bar graph on the right shows how high social status and high, um, yeah, just high social status sh shows that the greater effect has a greater effect when comparing across group means across the four conditions. So, in conclusion, um, these results may have future uh, important future implications for cross-cultural relationships and interactions in our increasingly diverse and technological society. Um, these results add to the target perceiver literature and frameworks in the field of intergroup relations and social cognition, such that a target with higher social status may be perceived more harshly in certain situations. Um, some future directions we could take is analyzing the rest of our data and other possible moderators. Um, such as the measures that we had, um, including moral judgment, cultural sensitivity, political correctness, uh, multicultural, multiculturalism beliefs, social dominance orientation scale, the cultural essentialism scale, the social desirability scale, and other demographic information such as religiosity, ethnicity, and place of birth. We could also conduct further analyses to explore for any interaction effects. And in future studies, we could also investigate um, other positions of power and how they may affect perceptions of appropriation, such as a lawyer, politician, or military leader. Thank you for listening, and I would love to take any questions. And I'm on LinkedIn and Twitter.